2.62, so a little over two and a half pounds. I like this scale. We're going to talk about this later. Dr. Meter. Okay, guys, it's the Dr. Meter Electronic Hanging Scale ESPS01. Comes in a box, but I like this. I'm not sure if this is actually a fish scale as much as it's just a hanging scale, though it was given to me as a fish scale, and that's what I'm using it for. One thing I really like about it, I've always used this type of scale, and this one's always hold the button, you hold, and you hold, and you hold, and there, now it's on. Now you got the scale, now you want to shut it off, you hold the button, you hold, you hold, you hold, you hold, you and there, now it's off. It's got a little bit of delay. The thing I've liked about this one, on, off, on, off, on, off. Real easy to get it off and on. You don't have a lot of delay time. That off on button can be a problem though. I've seen it's easier to touch that button and to turn it on. So one nice feature is uh, 60 seconds and it'll shut itself off uh, if it accidentally turns itself on. It does work with a pair of AA batteries versus some of these scales take the, the flat batteries. One thing I do like a little bit about this scale versus this one, I've always liked the scale that does pounds and ounces. Almost every, a lot of the scales you see the other guys, it is like this, it'll be, there's 3.5 pounds, well that's fine, that's three and a half, but I've kind of liked the scale. This one is set up for, you know, four pounds, three ounces, six pounds, four ounces, you get the exact on it. I kind of prefer that versus the other way but I guess that's just it's what you like and that's it uh, this one does come with sometimes a little tough to get out but does come with a ruler so you do have a ruler to go along with the scale I'd say the hook is not really designed that much for fishing it's not quite as big but then again a lot of people are using the clamps like this to hold on to the fish and to weigh the fish and did you ever notice have you ever seen anybody weigh the fish with the clamp and take off for the weight of the clamp. I don't ever see anybody do that. Everybody's always getting a fish that weighs about three or four ounces more than it actually is because this thing weighs right at about three ounces. So, but I've never seen anybody take off for that, which is what's interesting because in the doctor meter, we can turn it on, we can take our deal here and hang it. And that weighs 0.25 pounds, and I hit the tear button. And now when I hit the tear button, it's set for 0.25. Now, I can pick this up and go to weigh it, and it will automatically take off for the tear weight, and this now weighs 0.3 pounds which is about three to four ounces. So it automatically compensates for the weight to, re to subtract that. Now, and then when you shut it off, the tear weight goes away. So if you've got a really good fishing buddy, like I do, then what you like to do is while he's unhooking his fish, you turn it on, you hang this, then you pull it down to where it's about a half a pound. Then you let it go and set the tear. And now when Bob weighs his fish, it shows up a half pound lighter than it is when I weigh my fish because I don't hit the tear button when I weigh my fish. Just when you got a good friend, you can do that. Either way, I like this thing. It's a nice scale. It's small, it's compact. You can put it in your pocket if you want to carry it that way if you're bank fishing. Uh, again, I love the off and on real fast. I love the fact you get a you got a tape measure along with the scale and it runs right at about 10 bucks so it's less than half the cost of one of these jobbies they both have their advantages there's things about this one i like there's things about this one i like but i think the dr meter uh, electronic hanging scale has a few more advantages to me versus the other probably the one i'm going to be using 
Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would.